usually have a lot of helicopters flying around. This had a higher pitch to it and it didn't sound right. And I looked outside, saw it going in circles, and then I saw it take off. Just come on. Well, it's now what, like south, southwest? Um, and then I, I heard it fall, I heard it crash, and then tons of sirens, things like that. Um, and that's pretty much what I saw from my vantage point. Guys, so you heard it crash like into the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard it crash into the water, um, and then just tons of sirens from there. Um, used to hearing sirens, but this was a lot, like 10 minutes straight of sirens. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never seen a helicopter crash in my life, no. So did you run over and then look at it right uh, after it happened? Or yeah, like, I lived really close, after? so I just rode over and uh, saw it from where we're at now. And what did you see when you got over here? Um, a helicopter that's pretty much completely underwater. Um, looks like they had a boom out to collect uh, fuel that may have leaked from uh, the helicopter. And then obviously tons of fire units, police, things like that. What's going through your mind? I mean, you guys are just like hanging out Saturday night and then this happens. What were you guys thinking? What were you feeling? Yeah, obviously crazy. Uh, not what you expect. Um, you know, anything can happen in Newport, but definitely not what you expect. What am I thinking? Obviously, I hope everyone's all right. Never want any loss of life. Um, so that's my biggest concern. Thoughts and prayers out to anyone who's affected by this. Um, yeah, not what you see uh, on any day of the week. Did you see people that jumped into the water? I did not, not, not from my vantage point, no. But obviously, tons of uh, tons of units, and then know a few buddies who are in the lifeguard department and know they were out here. So yeah, just grateful for all of them. What's your first, first and last name and spell them for us? Uh, just first name is Alex. And then last name is Virginal, B-U-R-C-H-I-N-A-L. And you live here in Newport Beach. I do. Awesome. Thank you. Good evening. This evening, about 6.30 p.m., two officers from the Huntington Beach Police Department were responding to Newport Beach. They were responding in our helicopter, which is uh, called HB-1. The helicopter crashed for reasons that we're not certain of. One of the officers, a 16-year veteran, was extricated and he uh, went to a local hospital or, or nearby hospital where he is uh, uh, in critical condition, but he is uh, doing okay. And the other officer, a 14 year veteran, uh, unfortunately and tragically passed away uh, as a result of injuries sustained during the, uh, uh, the crash. The city of Huntington Beach, the residents of Huntington Beach, the Huntington Beach Police Department and the law enforcement community have lost a, an officer that was truly dedicated to his job, that was doing what he loved doing. And this is a tragedy that we are investigating. We will provide further details to you as they become available. The incident is being investigated by the National Transportation Safety Board and the Orange County Sheriff's Department Major Accident Reconstruction Team. This is a difficult night for all of us and I would ask for your prayers and your support as, as we support our officer's family and as we continue to grieve through this. At this point, I would uh, like to introduce the Mayor of Huntington Beach Mayor Barbara Douglas. Thank you, Chief. Good evening, everyone. This is truly, really a heartbreaking time for all of us here in Huntington Beach. First and foremost, I want to say and give our deepest sympathies to the family of Officer Vila. I know I speak on behalf for myself and all of the city council and the entire city of Huntington Beach. When I say we are praying for you and we are here for you, whatever you need. Our community values our police department and the loss of an officer hits us all really hard. This tragic accident serves as a reminder of the danger and the risks that our police officers put themselves in on a daily basis to protect our community. Every day our police officers are out there to protect all of us in our community. No questions asked. When, when called upon, I know that our Huntington Beach community, that today we will do the same. Our Huntington Beach community and our family here is grieving the loss of a brother. And I ask that everyone keep them in your prayers and support our police department as they always have supported us. Thank you. Oh, I'd like to bring up uh, Chief Para again. Thank you. At this time, I'll, I'll uh, entertain questions. Do you know 
Do you know when this helicopter was purchased? I don't have that information. You said the helicopter was en route somewhere. What was the call for service? The call for service was a, uh, a disturbance fight call in uh, Newport Beach. I would like to uh, ask uh, Chief John Lewis of the uh, Newport Beach Police Department to speak to that because he was uh, he has better information on that. So. Thank, you. Thank you, Chief. We responded immediately to the uh, report of the helicopter down. We monitored the radio broadcast and had people there instantaneously. We had rescue personnel consistent of police officers, firefighters, and lifeguards that were there to uh, assist when the helicopter made entry into the harbor. Any additional questions? Is there any preliminary information on what caused this, on what happened, why it went down? At this point, there is no uh, information on that. Uh, obviously, that's part of a, an investigation that's occurring at the moment. But I don't have details on uh, on what uh, potentially caused the uh, the aircraft to uh, become disabled. And I'd also like to uh, provide the uh, details on the officer's name. It's uh, Nicholas Vella, V E L L A, and he was uh, 44 years old and spent uh, 16 years with the Huntington Beach Police Department. He spent uh, a few years, and I'm not certain of the number, with the uh, Laguna Beach Police Department prior to joining Huntington Beach. Can you please spell his first and last one more time? Nicholas is N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S, and Vela, V as in Victor, E-L-L-A. Was he the pilot? I'm not certain. So, Chief, what does this mean for the rest of the Aero Bureau operations uh, going forward? Is there going to be like a So there, there's an investigation that, that's occurring as we speak. Uh, the, uh, they will determine the cause. What, what we'll need to do is we will need to have the, the current aircraft inspected, obviously, to make sure that there's, that there's nothing wrong with those helicopters. We do regular maintenance. It's ongoing maintenance, and there's a schedule that is, uh, that is, co uh, that is comprehensive with respect to the maintenance on our helicopter. So I, I don't know what occurred, but we're going to pull those in. They won't fly until we until we do uh, the inspection, and then we will wait for the investigation or for the inspections on those. We'll wait for the investigation uh, to occur, and moving forward, we'll put in practices in place to to ensure that there's no future uh, incidents that are similar to this. It's a dangerous occupation. Flying is, is extremely dangerous. Law enforcement is extremely dangerous. So you can't account for every uh, uh, mechanical issue. And I don't know that this was mechanical or not, but I know it was a significant issue. Uh, and we will, we will find out what, the, what that issue was or what those issues were, and we will resolve them so that we don't have future similar incidents. That's, that's going to be all the questions. Thank you so much for coming.